gonna show you what building a brand really looks like in 2026. It starts with taste, it starts with instinct, and you have to have the right tools to bring it to life. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist, and for well over a decade, mood boards have been the single most important part of my branding process. They are how we go from vague to visual. They help me understand a client's taste, direction, and goals before we ever talk about a logo. In the past, I've cobbled together references using Pinterest, Google Images, Google Docs even, but now I use Firefly boards and it has changed everything. This video is sponsored by Adobe Firefly, but I have been using boards since the day that it launched, let me tell you. And I'm gonna show you how I use it to build mood boards that feel personal, strategic, and human. That's important. Before anything gets designed, I build a mood board. And this is exactly how I do it nowadays. Okay, let's open a Firefly board and start with a fresh board for a new branding project you're gonna see in action. Essentially the template that I have been using to brand hundreds of people. Um, I mean, the mood board process can be slightly overwhelming. So what I'm doing here is drawing some shapes on our blank canvas, some squares. I think seven to eight uh, sources of inspiration on a mood board is perfect. You don't want too many, it can be overwhelming. So now I'm just gonna reorganize our squares squares here um, to make room for some text. You can do all of this in Firefly boards, shapes, text. This will uh, take shape once we have some words to describe the direction of our brand. That's gonna be gradual, okay? I think even starting with one source of inspiration is great and building on it, tweaking, adding, deleting from there is gonna make this awesome. So I use this next kind of uh, strategy to make sure we have different types of inspiration for our mood board, okay? So they're not just all logos. I love interior design, for example. That's like a little secret. Interior design can be super inspirational for uh, direction for a visual brand. So that's actually what I start with. And on every mood board, I typically have at least two examples of an interior or an environment that can inspire it. So there you go, let's add that to our board and copy this layer to make room for our next design type. I do like to include at least one other logo example, not too many because we don't want it to be too literal of a reference for our designer. So let's have one example of a logo and then let's have another instance of typography. This can be hugely inspirational to gauge a client's interest in how we can proceed with a visual brand. Okay, I'll copy this layer. I also love having at least one business card or print packaging example, but typically it's a business card, so I label it accordingly. You can already see with the different content types, interior design, logo, typography, business card, we're getting a nice variety on our mood board. This next one is gonna be a little bit more open-ended. By the point that you're at in this discovery phase, you're gonna have lots of different sources of inspiration, so I like to keep that one open-ended. We're just gonna call it brand example. And now let's have a fashion example. So think about people in action, something they're wearing, a certain style. That's a great way to humanize this process. And I think I'll leave this last one open-ended for you again and call it brand example. Now you've got a nice variety of different directions to take this mood board. I've templatized it for you. And now we can start filling it in. Now it's likely your mood board will be made up of different sources that you've maybe gathered across different spots on the internet. Behance is a great place, Pinterest is another. But nowadays it's actually common to do a mix, not only sourcing, but also image generation, which you can obviously do directly in Adobe Firefly. For this mood board, I'll use Gemini 2.5 with Nano Banana. This is an awesome model for this purpose, but there's a whole variety that I can choose from in here. And I recommend trying the different models, including Adobe Firefly itself, which can generate commercially safe images. Don't worry, if you're not happy with the first image you've generated, you can keep on generating them until you're satisfied. I've adjusted the size of my generation to square, and I'll keep generating until I'm happy with what I have. And I'll speed up this next part so you can see this mood board come to life with our different categories defined on our template. Remembering, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. We've got some nice color in here. More importantly, we have different jumping off points so the client can look at this mood board and say, hey, I love this, or maybe I don't love this. That's equally valuable when you're trying to gauge someone's aesthetic and visual preference. Now, once I find something close to the direction that I want, here's how I explore variations without starting from scratch. 
Maybe you're building this mood board for yourself or for a client. Typically, there's gonna be some images in here that you like and maybe some that you don't like, and that's totally helpful. Here in Firefly, you can click Find Similar Inspiration. So let's say, for example, this client didn't like this shade of green. Let's explore some other stationary options with its integration with Adobe Stock. I'm liking this turquoise and I'm liking this blue. So we can go ahead, resize these images to match our squares on the canvas. I love, by the way, that it shows the source in the corner of the image. So in case I ever wonder, where did I find this? You can see the little Google logo for Google Gemini, or in this case, the ST to represent Adobe Stock. I'm just gonna pop it into place to see if I like it. You know, I'm not totally digging it, but I'm certainly glad I tried. I think that this burgundy is gonna be more the vibe that I, or let's say the client is looking for. Maybe they said something like, you know, we're looking for like a deep plum or a, or a wine color, right? That's enough inspiration or guidance to get a totally different look. Notice how with a single image change, the mood board vibe is totally different. Here, let's continue to get some uh, inspiration from Adobe Stock. And here I'll pop in two brand new images. It literally looks like a totally new mood board. This is how the process works. Again, no exact science, but chipping away to develop an aesthetic so that you and or you and the client are on the same page. Now, let's say I love the subject in a photo, but I want a different styling or lighting or setting. That's possible. This is where very, and then a few other settings here, we're gonna keep subject. If you've experimented with AI image generation, keep subject is a little bit like composition reference and keep style is like style reference. So in this case, I love the vibe, but maybe this mood board is actually for a man. There's nothing saying he can't take inspiration from this lady. But maybe I want to adapt this style to be something he can envision for himself, like a power suit, like this example. Believe it or not, I've actually had clients get a new wardrobe or redecorate their office based on the visual brand that we've established. And it starts with the mood board. So I love that it's the same subject or composition, just more adapted for him. I also like this suit of a woman, and I like that her face is cropped out because it might be easier for my client to imagine it for themselves. Just an example of how I might use the keep subject feature, and I also recommend trying out the keep style, if there's a certain style you like, but the image might not be quite right. A lot of what I'm working with starts from screenshots or low res photos. That is not a problem anymore. You may have noticed we have a few lower quality images on our mood board that I maybe sourced somewhere else. So I'm gonna click the first image. We're gonna use Topaz Astra Upscaler on this. The icon is right up here. From there, you've got some options on how you want this image enhanced. We're gonna leave it on low creativity because I like the image, I just don't like that it's blurred. Then we'll select our output resolution, 1080p is fine for this example. We'll give it a few moments to generate. While we wait, note that it's likely the text won't appear perfectly since we are using AI to upscale, but in this case for a mood board, it actually doesn't matter what the text says, it's more the style and the layout of the business card that I'm interested in. Okay, it looks pretty close to the original, but I like that when I scale this back down, it no longer looks pixelated, which for me was a little bit distracting and could be distracting for the client. Let's try one more example. This is also a pixelated example I found elsewhere, but this time we're gonna try max creativity and let's try to output at 4K. It'll take a little bit longer, but the quality will be even higher. And while we wait, note that in this video, we talked only about image generation, but in Firefly Board, you can also generate video. 4K quality is what I always aim for for my YouTube videos, so that would be especially useful in this case. Okay, check it out. I absolutely love this final product. And by the way, it is so much better and clearer than the original. So that's using Topaz Astra Upscaler, now available in Firefly Boards. This can single-handedly help you just raise the quality and experience that you're offering for your clients. And incorporate old images or references, even if they aren't top quality. With a few strategic choices, we've gone from nothing to a direction that feels polished and aligned. Let's finish off with some real examples Examples of completed brand identities, starting with a mood board that helped everyone communicate the same language. In my case, I'm developing brand identities, but you can easily see how this is adaptable for interior design, product design, and marketing campaigns. Mood boards are more than a collage, they're more like a communication tool, and my team uses them as a north star for creative projects. And the flexibility of Firefly boards means that we're not just building a brand, we're inviting collaboration. The board isn't just where we start it's where we come back to again and again to keep every decision aligned 
and every asset on brand. So that is how I'm using Firefly boards in 2026 and beyond, not just to get inspired, but to stay aligned with every client's goals. We're keeping the brand human and every human element at the center of the brand that we build. And this tool helps us do that faster and better than ever before. If you are working on your brand or helping someone else with theirs, I highly recommend trying this tool. I'm Phil Palin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.